Hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are currently seeing me drive through country lanes in an attempt to visit some of the Palmer's FC players this evening. The reason for that is because I need some help. I had an email earlier telling me about the Stars 100 million pound challenge. All you gotta do is predict every outcome during Russia 2018. And if you are correct, you bag yourself 100 million pound. It's free and you must be over the age of 18 to enter. All the links are in the description below. And I thought rather than me just doing this, I would get some help from the Palmer's boys. Now I'm going through country lanes at the moment because there's been a crash on the main roads. I hope they're okay. Drive safely, both hands on the wheel, look both ways. Now I've had a lot of people in the comments asking me who I think is gonna win the World Cup. Let's do it as a collective team. And if we win the 100 million pounds, then what would we do with that? I mean, just imagine we bagged ourselves 100 million pounds. Palmer's FC, Sunday League football team, wins 100 million pounds. What do you do with that? Well, first thing I'd do is buy ourselves a stadium. Anyway, I've given some of the boys the heads up that I'm gonna be local. Let's see who I can catch up with. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Can you help me win 100 million pounds, please? Yes, please, if share it with me. Of course. Go. Let's go. Brilliant. So, Kev, you're going to be doing Group A for Palmer's FC. Remind me, who's in that? We've got the hosts, Russia, the unknown Saudi Arabia, Mo Salah's Egypt, very strong front line of Uruguay. Russia, Saudi Arabia. I can only see a, I can only see a Russia, a Russia win. Host nation, a lot of support. And to be honest, I don't really have a, I don't really know a lot about <laughs> Saudi Arabia apart from they've got some rich people that live there. But do you think they've got 100 million pound though? Oh, I think they've got that and some. Then and some, Matt. Right, then we've got Egypt, Uruguay. Yeah, yeah just... Uruguay all day long, I think. Mo Salah's just one man. Just one man. Match day two, uh, Russia against Egypt. Uh, I think it's going to be tight, but once again, I think Russia will nick a very close game made by a goal. Uh, Uruguay, Saudi Arabia. My heart feels like Saudi Arabia is going to smash them, but my head, I think Uruguay are going to outdo the Saudi Arabians by about seven goals. <laughs> Match day three, Uruguay, Russia, I'm gonna go for a draw. I think it'll be a close cagey game. I think, I think it'll be wrapped up by then. I think they'll be looking for who's gonna win the group, but I can only see it being a draw. And then I'm gonna go for a Saudi Arabia win against Egypt. Ooh. I think it's gonna be a dead, uh, a dead game, a dead rubber, so I think Saudi will uh, win it because most sellers shoulder injury will miraculously return. That's it. Fantastic, that's Kev. That's how it is. I'm going to go to Group B now, but thanks for your efforts. Enjoy. All right, so that's Group A done. I'm thinking, rather than travelling around to all the different players, why don't I make them come to us? What's the best place? It's the pub, the Oaks. Let's go. Hallelujah. I've just spotted Gonzo in the Oaks. And there's a Luke and a Connor and a Nick. Do you want to do Group B for me? I'll do Group B for you. Okay. Match day one, we've got Morocco versus Iran. I think Morocco will win that game. And uh, Portugal versus Spain is the other game on match day one. And I will go for Spain. Group decider, isn't it, really? I'm going to go for Spain. Match day two, Portugal versus Morocco. Portugal. Um, and Iran versus Spain. Into my next Spain game. Uh, and match day three, we've got Iran versus Portugal. I've gone Portugal again. And Spain versus Morocco. Spain, easy win, I think, now. Lovely. So that'll put Spain at the top, Portugal second. Lovely. Thanks, Gonzo. No worries, You've been friend. so helpful. You've gone with Group C. Match day one, talk to me. France for Australia, it's a no-brainer, really. Yeah. France all, all the way. Tim Cahill, though, is some talent. Yeah, I know, he is some talent. He's getting <laughs> a bit old now, though, isn't he, really? <laughs> You're going with France, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Cool. I haven't really looked at Denmark's squad, but I know they've got a better squad than Peru. So in my eyes, I'd see Denmark winning. Cool. Christian Eriksen's a talent. Yeah. Don't yeah. Forget. To be fair, I, I forgot that Eriksen played for them. So yeah. Yeah. There Any you go. free kicks. Yeah. Maybe smash them in. Match day two. Denmark v Australia. I'm not too sure who Australia have got in goal, but if Denmark again win any free kicks, edge of the area and stuff like that, you know Eriksen's got a good shot on him. So for the second game, France v Peru. Again, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I'm not. I'm not even too sure who plays for Peru, but. At the end of the day, France's squad is just too much at the moment. Match day three, Denmark against France, which to be fair will probably be the best game out of that group altogether, because hmm. they're probably the two best teams. But I've got to go with France again. Even though they've left big names such as Lacazette and people like that out of their squad, they've still got a brilliant squad. And the second game, Australia v Peru. To be fair, I've gone with Australia for this one because I could probably, as Matt said, see Tim Cahill going with a few <laughs> goals or something, hopefully. 
Thank you. And hopefully, Palmer's can win £100 million. Pounds. Yeah. Oh, look. Is that mate? Hello. You've just told me you fancy Group D. I don't, but no one else wanted it, so I had to choose it. <laughs> Take me through it, mate. What's uh, going to happen? Two strong teams in there, Croatia and Argentina. The Argentina Iceland first game, going to go Argentina win. Croatia Nigeria, I go Croatia win. Nigeria didn't seem all that against England the other day, so go for that. Match day two, I got Argentina Croatia draw. Nigeria Iceland draw. Ooh. And then match day three, Argentina to beat uh, Nigeria and Croatia to beat Iceland. Well, it looks like Argentina's going to win it. Uh, probably on goal difference, I'll say. I reckon they'll score more than Croatia. I reckon Croatia get a couple of clean sheets, maybe one nils, two nils, but I reckon Argentina will score a lot. Who's going to win the World Cup? England. <laughs> <laughs> Optimistic, I suppose. And, second question, what would you do with £100 million? Um, buy uh, grand for Palms FC. Perfect. Yeah. That's the right answer. Yeah. Thank you, mate. No worries. Let's hope we win. E is for Nick. E is for easy group to predict. You've gone with Group E, which consists of Costa Rica, Serbia, Brazil and Switzerland. The only one I was a bit confused with was obviously Costa Rica, Serbia. Okay, um, well... And they, that's come up first, so. Okay, well, take me through match day one, Costa Rica versus match Serbia. Match day one. Uh, I think Serbia will do it. I mean, Costa Rica will look poor against England and Belgium. I think Brazil will win all three games. Okay. Match day two, Brazil versus Costa Rica. Brazil. Brazil. Serbia versus Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland like ranked sixth in the world. We shifted the world rankings. Can you name? I know one player, but can you name Shakiri. two? And Shaka. And Ed Milson Fernandez, but he didn't make the squad. But he plays for West Ham. <laughs> Match day three: Brazil to beat Serbia. Switzerland to beat Costa Rica. So how's the table ended up, Nick? Brazil first, nine points. Switzerland on six. Serbia on three, and Costa Rica on nothing. Zero. So those are your predictions. That could go a long way to helping Palmer's FC win a hundred million pounds. Million pounds. What should we do with a hundred million pounds? We've had stadiums suggested. Could we so. buy a stadium? Yeah. yeah, we could. We could build something, couldn't we? Go on tour. Like, no, I just like to do like a tour. Okay. For like what country? No, like furthest world tour. Oh, a well, world. The Palmer's world FC tour. world tour. Like, we could buy a jet. Yep. I want a nice jet. Okay. With like beds. 20 million? Yep. And then we just fly around playing games and partying. I've now got one of the most handsome fellows at Palmer's FC. Oh, oh me? It's you, mate. You know it's you. Uh, Germany. Germany. Mexico, Sweden, South Korea. I actually got South Korea in my uh, sweepstake, so I hope they're going to win the group. <laughs> I can't see it. But let's be real. Take, take me through each, each game and, and tell me what you think is going to happen. Uh, Germany, Mexico, first game. game Easy. Germany. you got to go. Sweden, South Korea. I'm going Sweden, sorry South Korea. South Korea and Mexico. I'm going to give them a point, a draw. I think Germany will be strong this year. Yeah. And then Germany again, yeah. Mexico, Sweden, I'm going to draw there. And Germany, South Korea, I'm going Germany. Germany top on nine points, I think they're going to smash their group. Sweden on four. Sweden go Ooh. through. So if all our predictions are right, um, we will win £100 million. Pounds. Wow. What would you do with £100 million? Pounds? I'd hire you for the rest of my life. Is that expensive or? You can have me for a lot less than 100 million pounds, put oh, it that okay. way. Um, what about Palmer's? What, what should Palmer's buy? I don't know, our own stadiums. Yep. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. What would you call it? The college. Just the college. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Goalkeeper Garen. Hello. Maybe not goalkeeper anymore. Potentially centre mid, centre back, up back, front. Back. You play wherever you want, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, you have got the pleasure of Group G, England's group. So match day one is? Uh, Belgium versus Panama. What's going on there? It's got to be an easy win for Belgium, surely. I don't think Panama have scored since they've qualified, if I'm correct. All right. Tunisia, England. I like to think England an easy win now, but you never know with England, do you? It's probably be a 1-0 or a 1-0. Yeah. I'm going for England. And then match day two, we've got Belgium, Tunisia. Again, Belgium should be an easy win for them. England, Panama. We all like England, <laughs> but if we lose, I wouldn't be surprised either. Panama, Tunisia. I'm going to go Tunisia, get their first win. Do you know what? I fancy England, but Go for the draw. Go for the draw. Go for the draw, yeah. All right, Garen, thank you for your, right. your help on the predictions. Um, £100 million pound we could win if we were all right. What would you do with £100 million? Pound? We'll get married in two years, so I'll bring that forward. Yep. <laughs> uh, treat me mum. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, Garen. Yeah, it is. She's always been there, so... And if we was going to spend money for Palmer's, where would you put that money? Well, that's the ground. Yeah. Solid as Palmer's ground. That's what that's the popular one. Yeah. Nice one, mate. I said on the way down that um, I was gonna get the play Palmer's players involved. You're not a Palmer's player, but you are very much part of this club. I'm here to help. Yes. Okay. You've been given the task of the final group, 
is Group H, which consists of Colombia, Japan, Poland, and Senegal. Right, match day one, talk me through your results. Okay, Colombia versus Japan, I think it's an easy Colombia win. They've got a strong squad, and I don't know anything about the Japanese team, but they've got here, so they must be fairly decent. But Colombia have got too much to, you know, too much for Japan. Okay. And you've got Poland versus Senegal. I think that one's going to be actually tight, maybe 1-0, 2-1, something close like that. They've got good attacks in a goal, but Poland's got Lewandowski. Yeah. You can't do anything against that. I think that's the quality will shine through. Um, then you've got match day two, Senegal versus Japan. Again, I actually think that's going to be tight because you know Japan didn't just get here you know, by a bite. They got through because they're good. But Senegal have got the players. Poland versus Colombia. I think they both will be in strong positions, so they'll hold out for the draw, so they, they know they're going to basically go through. Um, Japan versus Poland. Again, Poland draw. They've got no reason to put their best team out. They might save a few players there, mm. I think. And uh, Senegal versus Colombia. Colombia are going to breeze that one. I don't know why. Just got a feeling that Colombia are going to be dark horses. Troy, thank you very much for your predictions. I hope they go a long way to winning us 100 million pounds. What should Palmers do with 100 million pounds? Buy a proper stadium. That's the popular one, mate. And what would you do with 100 million pounds? Buy more dogs. Gotta love dogs. Lots of dogs. Loads of them. Love dogs. <laughs> Frank, wearing your Chelsea top. Yep. Not a lot of people knew you support Chelsea. I don't think we've ever made that. No, no. no not Who's your favourite Chelsea player? Well, at the moment, it's got to be Hazard. Yeah. He's the man on form, but when I was younger, it was Frank Lampard. And it sounds totally, totally strange, but same name, isn't it? No Frank. Yeah. So that's the reason why. That's it, mate. That's it. Basically it. Okay, so you, um, you've missed out on doing a group, yep. but you've got the uh, tough task of the round of 16. Yep. So talk me through the matches and who you think is going to win. First one is Russia first Portugal. I think it'd be Portugal. Uh, second one's France and Croatia. Tough one. Croatia's got a good side, but I think the France squad is... Very good. Very, very, very tough. Very good. And you've got Brazil, speed, uh, Sweden. Sweden? Sweden. Sweden. Um, Brazil, again, because their squad is... Just Brazil up. because it's Brazil. Yeah. Belgium, Poland. Your man, Hazard. Hazard and, again, these all these squads. But Portugal's the only one that's not particularly. They've got two players, yeah. basically. But mm. I've got to go Belgium. Spain, Uruguay. I think that'd be a good game. I'd probably just go Spain. Because they got a quality at the back. Mm. De Gea, Ramos, PK, Argentina, Denmark, Leon Messi. I'm not particularly a great fan of Leon Messi. Oh. But uh, I'm Ronaldo. So I think it could be Argentina. Germany, um, Switzerland. That Germany squad. You can have three squads out of Germany squad easily. So I've got to go to Germany. Clumber, England. You've got to go to your own country, you? Come on. I think England get to quarters. Do you have an England? If you, if you had £100 million, what would you do with £100 million? Go on holiday? Yep. Can't be really get engaged probably. Oh, yeah, Frank, is that yeah. a hint? No. Oh, okay. It's a hint. She should get on my back. I know. think it's a hint. Charlotte, <laughs> let's hope yes. we win. So we've got a manager's player of the year. The reserves here it is, of course, Perry. Um, you've got a very tough task here of doing the quarterfinals. Take me through them, mate. What, what you got there? Do you know what? I've backed France from the start, so I think France is going to beat Portugal. Oh. Ooh. I'd say that. Brazil, Belgium. Oh, I'm going to go Brazil. And then Spain and Argentina. It's an hard one, that is. Spain, 2-1. And then Germany, England. I'm just going to back England and say 1-0 England. Come on, England. Come on, England. Thank you very much for your predictions. No worries, mate. What would I do with £100 million? I would... Well, apart from a massive night out. <laughs> yeah, that's one big night. Definitely a holiday. Yep. Start driving. Brilliant. Yeah, a very expensive car. Yeah, a very expensive car, yeah. <laughs> nice one, mate. Thank you very much. Bill. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the Oaks Pub. It's not as if it's the first time you've been here, is it? No, we've been here plenty of times. How would you like a hundred million pounds? Wouldn't mind that. What would you do with a hundred million pounds? Buy myself a house first and foremost. Yep. Big house? Big ass. How many rooms? Beach seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. Family and guests. Yeah. yeah. Football Mag, pitch mate. in the back garden? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Definitely. 3G or grass? I'd have to go for grass. Yeah? Get yeah. a groundsman in? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mate. You are ready. <laughs> let's let's get your predictions. So the boys have already done the groups and the round of 16 and the quarters and the, well, you're doing the semis actually. Right. Now. Um, two tough games: France versus Brazil, Spain versus England. Right. What are you going to go with for the first game? France versus Brazil. I would say Brazil. And the second one would be Spain versus England. I've got to go, I've got to go with us. I've got to go with us. Put us in. You're going to back us, yeah? Yeah, put us in the final. Come on, England. Come on, England. Thank you very much for your predictions. Let's hope we win. Yes. It's just a Tuesday evening beer, you know. Hello, mate. How you doing? Bye, boys and Charlie. Listen up, between you all, whether you agree or not, you have picked Brazil and England to be in the Russia 2018 final. We need a vote. England. England. England? Brazil. 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 England. Brazilia. It's Brazil. They're going to win Russia 2018.
is confirmed. But we do have another game as well. We've got France versus Spain, third place. Oh, oh. Spain. France. Spain. France, it is. And there you have it. Palmers have predicted Russia 2018 via the Stars 100 million pound challenge. Let us know what you think. Are England actually going to make the final? Or are we just going with our hearts? I'd love it. But will it happen? Who knows? Let us know who you think is going to win it. Let us know your predictions in the comments below. If you're going to get involved, don't forget you need to be over the age of 18. All the links are in the description below. And yeah, good luck. Come on, your Palmers.